As a newspaper writer, it became customary for me to review the past year and make predictions on the next, but due to a decline in humor, tolerance, common sense, I felt it might be received with less than the appropriate amount of glee. So instead, I'm doing it live. More than a century ago, Robert Frost wrote these words, and nothing to look backward to with pride and nothing to look forward to with hope. Did this old dude call it or what? And there were barely 1.5 billion people back then. How many more kooky characters do you think exist in a population five times that size? A lot. And what's even more fun is that now we get to hear from every one of them. Back then there was this antiquated notion that if someone were unqualified to speak on a subject because they never went to school or read a book, they were not entitled to express an opinion. Now we can purchase the degree of our choosing from any number of online institutions of higher learning, but we don't need to. Because we are all teachers. We are all lawyers. We are all doctors. Except, of course, for actual doctors that disagree in any way with the government-sanctioned association of their peers. Because if history has taught us anything, it is that no scientific truth has ever been determined by someone who was not in harmony with the status quo. The scientific community throughout history never universally performed procedures or followed treatments that were later debunked. I mean, sure, I cited the example of William Harvey, who in 1628 said, Hey guys, I have reason to believe that blood circulates through arteries of the heart and not the liver, which might explain some of the patient deaths over the last... 1,500 years! You know, they killed that guy, right? Not literally, but let's just say that if there had been a YouTube or a Facebook, that Dr. Harvey would not have been able to post those hilarious bloodletting photos from the hospital Christmas party. But aside from that, and maybe a hundred or so similar examples, it pretty much has never happened. Oh, and while we're on the subject, conspiracies. Never in history has any conspiracy ever been pulled off, only to be exposed years later and then made into a major box office motion picture nominated for several Academy Awards and or Golden Globes. Like Watergate, for example. Oh, in the Tuskegee syphilis study, presented as free health care for the black community, like the government actually spread the disease within the community just to observe its natural progression, that did not happen in the 30s and 40s. After some crazy conspiracy theorists began noticing this odd trend over the course of two decades, it certainly did not continue for another two decades. That would be preposterous. Or my personal favorite, because apparently as a Jew with direct historical ties to uh, survivors, me, heaven forbid, mentioning the Holocaust is just gross inflammatory misdirection. Consequently, there has never been any medication that was certified by any governmental drug administration endorsed and dispensed to large segments of the population by the medical community that was later found to cause severe health complications or birth defects. Large pharmaceutical companies have never made mistakes or rushed a product to market and subsequently covered their tracks by withholding or skewing results or denying responsibility for which they were then sued for billions of dollars, but somehow continued operations. Just like there has never been evidence of fraudulent practices, off-label promotions, questionable kickbacks, etc. So please don't bring up names like Zofran or Lyrica or Vioxx or Zyprexa or Oxycontin or everyone's favorite, thalidomide. All right, maybe thalidomide. I think we can all agree that that one may have been a tad flawed, but that could never happen now. So please, just stop questioning and get in line. So what if you can't travel, visit your family, or breathe openly without the filter of a polypropylene-based surgical mask and have to avoid personal contact for the indiscernible future? It's just for a short time. So some of your kids will miss fifth grade. And sixth. Studies show that children learn just as well and are undistracted from the fact that their classes take place on the same computer they use for social media and video games as from being in a classroom with a teacher. That's just fact. It's for the greater good. Because if there's another thing that history has proven, it's that governments care about public health. And when they're occasionally found to be wrong because they're only human, they simply admit it and move on. 
fact, it is illegal for politicians to lie. If they get caught, someone has to go to jail for them. So I think we can trust them. The facts are clear, people. My predictions for 2022, it's going to be great. Why do you ask?